Hello everyone and welcome uh, in this third episode of uh, connecting my energy meter to the magnetic mirror. I will be starting to do the Python coding. So welcome and hope you enjoy. So now I have opened up my um, Python project in Visual Studio Code and I am connected to my Raspberry um, which has the magnetic mirror set up. And now we'll add uh, the any meter values that we need. Uh, and the first thing, of course, is that we need to somewhere to put um, to store the values. And I'm using a class uh, here for storing the values. And I'm assigning um, uh, an array energy meter to this class. So this is where I will uh, retrieve the values into this array. Um, and the next thing is that we want to move a bit down here because we want to receive the data. Uh, so now we have the Arduino uh, connecting and needs to have a page to post the data on. So let's have a look at that. Uh, first of all, we add this new uh, route to the Flask web server. And as you can see, it's the same as I had in my Arduino slash energy meter. And I want to allow the method of posting data into that URL. Then we have the actual function here uh, with data lock uh, to avoid any mistakes uh, updating the variables. Uh, I request the content that I have received into the variable content and this will be in the format of JSON since I have requested to format it as JSON. And then I will transfer the information to my energy meter class array. And here you can see that I'm setting the energy meter value to what I received on this one. And here it's important that you actually have these values in your, in your uh, JSON. Otherwise you will get a failure here. Then we're storing the values I want. And at the end here, I'm also storing the actual uh, time when I receive this message. Uh, and I initiate the timer. And the reason for this is I want to keep track of if for some reason the Arduino stops uploading data to my Magic Mirror, I will give an alarm on the Magic Mirror saying that hey, this device has not uploaded for 10 minutes or since uh, a certain time. And that's always good because, as you know, things lock up and things happen and sometimes you need to reboot things. And here I only return the upload OK value uh, to the post and that's also why I'm only checking uh, in a very simple way in my Arduino that I've actually received any. Uh, message back. But this, this could be much more advanced if you want. So now we have the data. Um, and now we need to put it out on the HTML page on the Magic Mirror. And we do that here in the root of the URL. And in this case, I have only prepared two values that I will show. That is the current consumption and the n meter value. I will send that back to my main page uh, on the Magic Mirror. 
And if you scroll up a bit more, uh, you might remember that I introduced another page, uh, which I called index. And this is mostly for debugging and, and making sure that I can monitor all the values I want to and maybe use them on the actual Magic Mirror in, in the future as well. So here we will just add all the data that we have. So all the values we have retrieved, we put into a JSON and we can always access it from, from our browser if needed. If you knew up a bit, you can see that I put uh, the port to 8082 because this is my demo environment and, and that's where I will upload uh, the values to them uh, from the Arduino. And hopefully that will do it. Let's try and um, execute. Oh, sorry, missed one thing. Naturally, we need a page. So moving into the HTML page, uh, we want to show this data in some way. And then I have prepared a style for this, a couple of styles. And the first one here is positioning uh, the energy information where I want it on the page. And the second one here, I will not uh, go into all the details of what is what here, uh, but we are creating a, a meter, a gorge to show the value. And I, I think the best thing is to show you how it looks like uh, in on the actual page. And then moving down to the body here, we have to use this class, energy to position it, and then I will um, display my uh, nice energy meter and print some values of the data that I have retrieved. And I will actually comment out one line here because this will be probably in my next video, uh, where I will also do some um, additional things. I will create some statistics and I will also um, log the energy data that I receive into a uh, MySQL server. Uh, and then I will use that information to do some forecasts on my monthly and yearly consumption. Uh, so the code has executed, so we're running. I had to um, add a comma and remove another comma here, otherwise the code was fine. And if we move to the web browser, we can see that we're actually getting my test value here. So if you remember, this was the test message that I put into the code. And that's what's uploaded. So this seems to work fine. I know that it's not so much on the page here, but I'm trying to add item by item as I create the videos here. So in the end, we will have a, a full display. Uh, and if we also have a look at the index page, you can see that I'm receiving the values. Most of them are empty because I'm just sending the test messages here. Uh, but we have the energy here, we have the energy meter here, uh, and we also actually have the temperature, and that seems to be correct. Uh, so those values are there. So everything seems to be working fine, uh, and you can also see my meter here. Uh, it will become greener and greener as, as the consumption goes up here. Uh, and then later on, I will add some other information around here about uh, monthly consumption and some other nice things here to, to show you. If we have a quick look at the Arduino. Uh, 
I corrected the password for the Wi-Fi, of course, and downloaded it again. And then we can see it's actually retrieving the different test data here. It's retrieving the temperature. And here you can see it's connecting to the server. And it's getting the OK. And it's uploading the values in a JSON uh, document here. Always, all seems to be running smooth there. Let's remove uh, the test message and connect it to the real energy meter. Upload it. And I have connected uh, it to the interface on the energy meter now. And as you can see, we quickly get a lot more values back. And they should be uploaded to our Magic Mirror. So if we go in here, you can see we get a new value. And this is live values from the energy meter. And if we go to the index, we can see that all the values are coming in here now.